Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find the middle of a linked list. So here is the example. Uh, here you can see there are five nodes in this linked list. So we will number these nodes first. So this is the first node, second, third, fourth and fifth. So out of five nodes, obviously the third node is the middle of this linked list. So in the second linked list, these are the nodes 3, 4, 5 and 6. As this is an even length linked list, you can say either the third node or the fourth node as the middle of the linked list. So any node, any node in third and fourth node can be the middle of this linked list. So let's see how to find the middle of the linked list by using this code. So here find middle is the function and head of this head of the linked list is passed to that function. We will execute the code on this linked list. So the head is A. Now <coughs> let's see. So P will point to head and Q will point to the head. So P and Q both will point to A in this linked list. Now let us see what the uh, code says. So it says while Q and Q gives next. So when Q is present means it is not null and when Q gives next is not null then we move P by one step and we move Q by two steps. So let's see how to do this. So we have to move P by one step and Q by two steps. So Q will come here. In the second iteration, again, we will check Q and Q gives next. So whether Q is present, yes. And Q points next is present, yes. So we have to move P by one step and Q by two steps. So P will move here and Q will move by two steps. So it will come here by two steps. So these are the new positions of P and Q now. So I will write P here. So these are the new positions. Now again in the third iteration while Q and Q points next is present. So Q is present but Q points next is null. So this condition will be false and we will come out of this while loop and we will return P as the middle of this linked list. So in this way we will return P means C as the middle of this linked list. So this is how this code works. Now let us execute this code on this second example. So P and Q will point to the head. So whether Q and Q gives next are present? Yes. So let's move P by one step and Q by two steps. Now let's check whether Q and Q gives next is present? Yes. So let's move P by one step and Q by two steps. So it will come here and P will be here. Now check whether Q is present and Q points next is present. Yes. So we will move P by one step and Q by two steps. Now in this iteration we will check whether Q is present. Yes, it is not present, it is null. So while Q will be false, and it will come out of this while loop and we will return P means D will be returned as the middle of this linked list. So this is how this code works for finding out the middle of the linked list. You can find out the whole code on this GitHub link, uh, github.com slash vivekanand44 hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you